Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and it's finally here. The finishing directions to the Milky Way wall hanging. And it has been a free follow along pattern from Coats Thread Company. It's been paper pieced and there have been five blocks. So we have the five different blocks done. Now we get to put them together. The fabric we've been using is from Free Spirit and it is a solid color, which means both sides look the same, which has made piecing this together really easy. We didn't have to worry about what side was wrong and what side was right. They were both right, so it was easy to piece together. Now we get to finish it. And to make all of these colors just shine and pop, we're going to finish it off with a beautiful dark black. And that's going to really show all of the true colors in the quilt. This is going to be setting corners and a frame. I'm still going to continue using the paper piecing thread because it is a good thread to piece with. It is very thin, very strong, so it'll work quite well. The blocks are set on a diagonal. So let's start with the center three. If you start with the center block, you're going to put sashing on each end. And you're going to be able to sew those right on because it's 12 and a half inches by an inch and a half. When two of the sashings have been put on, we need to put the two other sides on. But we want little corner stones in each of the corners. So we'll need to take the four one and a half inch squares and sew them on each corner of the other two sashings. And when the ends are sewn on and pressed, they're going to match exactly. So you'll be able to sew both of those sides on. When the center block has been sashed, we're going to share that sashing with the side blocks. This block is going to share this side of the sashing. This block is going to share this sashing. But what we're going to need is the sashing around the other side. So on each side, we're going to need long pieces. When the two sides are done, you can sew it right onto the center block. The three blocks are done. Now let's work on the ends. So you have the one little block at one and seven eighths. You're going to divide it in half. The halves are going to go on the corners and they're going to fit right on that corner. Now when you place it on, you are going to have a little ear that's hanging out. Well, that's perfectly fine because when you sew the quarter inch, that is going to be part of the seam allowance. So the corner square is going to look like this. But when it's opened and that little corner is cut off, it's going to be perfect. You're going to need a total of four of these strips with those little triangles at the corner. Two of them are going to go on the first row and you'll use the other two for the other two blocks. And that is going to be sewn right on the end. There's really only one way for it to go on. If it was the other way, you would be able to see that those points are not going to match. So you know it will match exactly that way. And flip it over, stitch it down, and do that to both ends. When you stitch that border on, you will notice that you do have some little ears sticking out. And when it's pressed, it's going to work out just fine. You will need two black squares at nine and three eighths and cut them right in half. So it will give you four triangles. The cut side is going to go on the end. So you will need two for this row. You will take the one, sew it on that end, and the other one will go right on that end. And you're going to be able to take that and line up that center right with the center of the panel when you fold it over you will have the little ears hanging over at a quarter inch on each side. And this center will go right into the center of the block and stitch down a quarter inch. The center row is now done. We need to do rows on each side. So let's work on one side at a time. The center block is going to share its sashing again with the side block, and it's going to be the way for both sides. So this block is going to need three sides of sashing. Two on each side, and then that one with the little triangles 
is going to go right there on that edge. So the first thing you're going to do, sew these two on and then sew that one on. And just like we put a triangle on this end, we're going to put a triangle on this end. It's the same one. You're going to be able to match up the centers and stitch down a quarter inch. Next is going to be two triangles on each side. So you're going to start with a very big square, 18 and a quarter inches. Cut it in half once, cut it in half twice, it's going to give you four triangles. When you've cut the triangle apart, this is the side that is going to fit inside. So this is going to always remain on the outside. So think of the center is going into the center. So the center is going into the center. So the two big triangles on each end. So the center block is going to share this sashing and the two triangles are going to share the sashings on each side. So you're going to be able to just flip them over, match up the seams and stitch. That side's done. We need to repeat for this side. The sashing on each side, the sashing with the triangles up in the corner, the small triangle up at the top, and the two large triangles on each end with the centers facing the center. So these two units together matching the sashing lines. And when that top corner's on, you have made a square. So you have all of the blocks set on a diagonal. Press it and you're going to be able to continue with some simple borders going out. The first border is going to be an inch and a half. Add your inch and a half border on your four sides. And once that inch and a half border is on, we need one more border, three and a half inches wide, all the way around. And we're going to use the same black as is in the center. And when you take five blocks and put them on the diagonal, add big corner stones, you can make a very big quilt out of just a few blocks. And the Milky Way wall hanging is now done. That black fabric really made all of those colors pop. The paper piecing made all those points nice and precise. And we have a beautiful wall hanging. I do hope you give it a try. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. And as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.